Stock market investors fall for a trend once or twice. But after a time, they realize where they have to park their money and stop investing out of sheer peer pressure. So, Swiggy's IPO after two major flop IPOs launched by Paytm and Zomato could turn out to be an even bigger flop. Stay tuned to know why. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and in this video, I will explain why Swiggy might fail to attract investors for its upcoming IPO. Let's begin. Swiggy has made a big announcement. The Indian food delivery company, which is backed by SoftBank Group, is preparing to raise a minimum of $800 million in an IPO in early 2023. Swiggy is therefore adding independent directors to the board and is trying to present itself as a logistics company rather than presenting itself as a mere food delivery app. Now, Swiggy has doubled its valuation to $10.7 billion in its latest funding round and therefore a Swiggy IPO should have generated a lot of interest. But it seems that the company will not be able to incite much enthusiasm. The stock market investors have had a terrible experience with big tech giants going public. Last year, there were three major IPOs launched by Paytm, Zomato and Nika. Several investors had rushed in to book shares in the big IPOs. Yet, out of the three companies, only Nika seemed to be one giving good returns. Paytm and Zomato, on the other hand, left shareholders disappointed. Paytm had managed to raise around 18,300 crore rupees from the market, which is quite impressive. But Paytm shares crashed dramatically on the first day of opening and ended up with 27.24% fall in share price. Paytm, of course, competes in an overcrowded market, which explains its disappointing performance. But it is the performance of Zomato, Swiggy's main competitor, which could spook stock market investors ahead of the Swiggy IPO. When Zomato IPO was launched, it was fully subscribed on its first day even as retail investors led the frenzy. It was being touted as the next big step in Zomato's journey as leading food delivery company. But soon, investors realized that it wasn't such a great deal. Three months after getting listed on the stock market, Zomato reported a consolidated net loss of 435 crore rupees for the September quarter results published in November last year, compared to a loss of 230 crores in the corresponding period in the previous fiscal year. Zomato mentioned that higher losses were on account of increased spending on branding and marketing for consumer acquisition, increased investments and a growing share of small emerging geographies. Small investors would probably be looking for an early exit, whereas big investors usually don't have that luxury. Anyhow, Zomato is facing cutthroat competition from Swiggy and other food aggregators. So, it is hard to comprehend how the company will make a breakthrough. Meanwhile, Zomato stock keeps plunging and was reportedly down 9% in the second week of February this year. After the Zomato's IPO episode, investors would have realized that popular companies like Zomato, Swiggy, Uber and Airbnb aren't profit-making businesses. They are loss-making companies and are in for the long game. They rely on creating a broader consumer base that will reap good profits in the future. But it is equally true that building a loyal consumer base in a highly competitive market requires a lot of capital. At the end of the day, lucrative discounts have to be offered to win over loyalty of an average customer. And this is why such businesses are presently using their deep pockets to carve out a big market share for themselves. As long as you are using money of big venture capitalists, or big-ticket investors to survive in cutthroat competition, it is alright. You can keep your investors with the promise of earning big profits in the distant future. But when a company goes public, it has to open itself to the scrutiny of its financial records. You can no longer burn a lot of cash in a bid to keep your consumer base intact. This is what has happened with Zomato already and this is what is going to happen with Swiggy too. And once such companies have to give up aggressive consumer acquiring policies, a third giant can come in and steal their loyal consumer base without going public. So, as and when Swiggy launches its IPO, it is possible that many investors simply might not opt to invest. They could start looking for businesses with better fundamentals like electric battery startups or companies investing in renewables. This is what smart investors do. They don't fall for the big names, rather they look for businesses that can actually give them good returns.